Mario, we've had plenty of uh, cold weather and even natural snow. So if you're heading up uh, maybe Seven Springs or Hidden Valley, it's going to be fantastic uh, up there. At least the uh, ski conditions will be. Let's talk about your forecast and what's going on. If you watched me yesterday morning, I had some uh, concerns that what was looking like a sunny day today would be impacted by what we call an inversion. We had the uh, cold pockets of air and then a layer of warmer air right on top of that. That creates cloud cover. And that's what we're seeing right now. 24 mostly cloudy conditions is what's going on in Pittsburgh. Gorgeous shot there of the city, even though it is overcast, at least at this point, it looks like outside. You can see that cloud deck, though, just off uh, to the east. Here's a look at temperatures 24 in Butler, Franklin 20 degrees, Pittsburgh at 24, and Latrobe 25 degrees, Washington 26. Sunset, by the way, just before 5 o'clock tonight. In fact, we'll show you that right here, 4.58 p.m. is sunset. High temperature today, 25 degrees, the low. Not too bad. We stayed at 21. One of the cloud cover that stayed in place, if we had to clear it out, would have easily have dropped into the teens. The average, by the way, 48 and 33. So we were way below that. The record, wouldn't that have been 73? Record high for the day today. Let's talk about your evening, and day, afternoon, late afternoon hours. What we're looking at, at least the model data was showing clear skies. But we know that there's some clouds out there. We will clear out at some point in the overnight hours. But I don't think it's going to be before the midnight hour. 24 at 6, 22 at 8, 21 also at 10 o'clock. We'll change those clear skies for you next time you see that graphic. Overnight tonight, mostly cloudy, brisk, colder. I think we fall down to about 20 degrees or so. And then tomorrow we're looking at 40 for your expected high temperature uh, that we should see. In fact, this is how I think it's going to break down. Temperatures right around 20 degrees as we bottom out in the overnight hours. Notice for shoppers out there, it's interesting. Our temperatures actually will be ticking up before 4 o'clock. Now, it'll be slow, but our 2 o'clock temperature a little bit chillier than the 4 o'clock temperature by 8 o'clock as the sun's just coming up all the way up to 23. Yeah, all the way up to 23. 30 degrees by 10 o'clock, 37 at noon, and your 2 o'clock temperature coming in at 40 degrees. We talked about this earlier in the show. We said, hey, best weather is going to be into the afternoon hours, but obviously the best deals are going to be first thing in the morning. I don't really know anything about that. I'm never there early shopping. Here's a look at radar. Uh, it's dry at this point. A couple of uh, small snow showers showing up over Lake Erie. Those should dry out. High pressure is actually moving by at this time. Clear skies just off to our uh, west. And that warmer air that's there as well, the backside of that high pressure area, that's going to be heading our way. So we'll be looking at temperatures tomorrow right at 40 degrees. And even though this model is a little bit aggressive, showing 50 degrees on Saturday, I think the 50 is a hold off until Sunday, but we'll be close to 50 degrees even on Saturday. Don't forget, though, we do have some rain showers that will be around on Saturday. There's your forecast. I got to move out that turkey. He doesn't belong there anymore. Your Friday temperature 40 degrees. We're also looking at temperatures on Saturday coming in at 47 and 53 on Sunday. We got to say goodbye to the turkey, unfortunately. Rain and snow showers back on Monday after the uh, morning to early afternoon rain on Saturday and snow showers actually on Tuesday. Julie, notice also big warm up as we're heading into Sunday, but temperatures just as cold as what we saw today by the middle of next week.